everyone, it's Catherine from 85th and Pine. And in today's video on Inkscape, we're gonna be talking about grouping and ungrouping. This is pretty straightforward, so let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see on my Inkscape right here, I do have a file pulled up already that I created. This is a file of an ornament that I made for an animal clinic. And I'm gonna just go ahead and select everything by dragging my mouse over the ob all the objects, holding down and letting go. And now, as you can see, every little object is individually selected. So the snowflake, the hat, the icon, the letters, numbers, the ornament itself, and the hole for the ornament are all individually selected. So that means it is ungrouped and not solid with, with each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and group it together by going up to object and group, or you can do control G on your keyboard shortcut. And now that I grouped it together, it is all one piece. So if I were to move it, it would all move together and it's all, all one piece, like I said. Um, but if I wanted to change certain elements and things were grouped together where I wanted to change something about the snowflake or the hat or whatever, and it wasn't a unified piece, I'll, and all I would have to do is ungroup it, I would just go to object, ungroup, or hold down shift control G and that would ungroup everything. So let's just say, for instance, I use red lines for my cut lines on my Glowforge machine. That's just the color that I choose to use. But if I wanted the snowflake not to cut and I wanted it to score instead, and I wanted my Glowforge to read it as a score marking, I would have to change it to a different color other than the red because Glowforge is saying, if I want Glowforge to read my red markings as cut lines, then it's gonna read the snowflake as a cut line. So if I want my Glowforge to read something other than a cut line for my snowflake, I have to change it to a different color. The color that I choose to use is blue. So I'm going to go down to my blue, down here at the bottom and right click set stroke. So now it's a different color and now I can have my Glowforge read it as something separate so it can score instead of cut. Now I can do that with any object on here. I could change whatever I need to as long as it's ungrouped. And then if I wanna go ahead and put it back together, all I have to do is again, drag and hold everything down and go back up to object and group, which is control G again. So then as you can see, it is all one piece again, which is pretty simple. So now my Glowforge will read the red markings and the blue markings and the green markings all separately. So hope that was helpful for you. And as always, if you're interested in buying your own Glowforge machine, please feel free to use my referral code listed in the description box below on where you can get money off. Plus I would get credits too, which my family and I appreciate more than you know. And if you're interested in joining our new Facebook group, please feel free to do that as well. I'll have the link in the description box below. It's called Students of the Forge, where we share ideas, projects, and other helpful tips. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.